All right, here we are in the restoration of the monkey mobile. And what could be better than have a craftsman actually re-restoring, refabricating this famous car? And this is this young man right here, Brian. George. Got to have you tell a little bit of, you know, some of the things you've been doing after taking this car apart that was done way back in the 60s. But I know it's over here, yes. where you're doing over, right over here by the metal here. You see where he's redoing. Actually, you, you've taken off the old part. What else you've been doing here to this? Well, we've taken off the old uh, filler yeah. and the paint. And we are just checking out and seeing what we're doing. Metal finishing, right, yeah. right, right. So we're going to metal finish this. The, the structure that's here already. Okay. There's, you know, some yes. things yeah. in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, from yeah. The, uh, yeah, from the back and forth, yeah. yeah. Now, also, he's done something up here in front. Let's get over here. Because this is the door from the side, but if you'll notice, it come around this side and shoot this way. You stay right here. You can see how he's strengthened all of the floor and firewall. Tell them a little bit about what you've done in these carpet areas and why. All right, we've uh, plated the tell area because it was cut to fit in the fenders. Well, we decided we'd cut all that off and strengthen it our own way by welding the plates and making it all one structure again, mm -hmm. as if, instead of it being cut and being a little loose. Right, right, and so, now, of course, he melted a whole new firewall, all yes. out of metal, constructed that. And then the unique part about this, this car, all of the work we did, the front end and parts were all welded and then welded on the car. Now, Brian's taking this thing, go right away over here, and he's made, you've made this whole front end in one piece now that will fit the complete front end of the car. Yes. And that's rebraced it. You rebraced it, right? right. And, and then you've taken and you, I noticed you sculptured a lot of the inner uh, reverse channels where it's done the correct way, where it wasn't right. with a lot of filler, huh? There's about a sixteenth of an inch or less of skim on the panel to give it its definition that it originally had. I just made it to where the metal told me where to go when I did my skim. Great, great, so, great. So it's got all the definition it should have. You got this, the peak and the scope for an aerodynamic. So you got all of that incorporated into a one piece. Now we'll fit right on that with the hood and everything. That's gonna be tremendous. You make a, a tremendous more strength and gives us more durability when we're able to right. display the car and of course transport it wherever it's going. Right. So this gives you kind of a starting of what Mike, the family, and Brian, and everybody is doing here at the restoration shop in Sacramento, and to bring the Monkenmobile back into life and excitement.